Okay, so the five um, modalities that I think you're taught uh, as a kid are vision, hearing, I don't think you're taught somatic sensation, but we'll, we'll say touch here, uh, taste, uh, and olfaction. And since the 1800s, we've known that there's a, a sixth major system, and that's the vestibular system. The vestibular system is, is uh, co-occupies the inner ear with uh, the cochlea and is, um, gives rise to our, the, our sense of position in space, that our head position in space, and our head uh, motion. But in fact, there aren't just six of them. So just take the vestibular system, and there are, there are several perception, perceptual channels that, that one has here. One has static tilt, one has translation, one has rotation, senses of rotation which would, if they're off, they'll give rise to vertigo, sense of translation, which if it's off, it can give rise to disequilibrium, and, and also the position at rest of the, of the head. Um, and it's not just the vestibular system. Each one of these can be divided up into more than, than uh, several sub-modalities. Um, and so within somatic sensation, we have touch, we have pressure, we have vibration, we have proprioception, pain, temperature, and itch. And we can go even farther. If we look at pain, there are at least two different types of pain, a pricking pain and an aching pain. Um, and depending on whether you're a lumper or a splitter, you'll come away with, uh, I, I think the minimum, I, I don't know what the minimum number is. In, in this regard, I'm usually a lumper, but in this regard, I'm a splitter. And I, I think there are easily a few dozen uh, different sensory channels. Um, okay, that all said, what, what are we going to do in this a whole section on, on perception? We're going to deal with uh, perceptual systems that are, that whose damage or whose um, misbehavior could result in a person seeking medical care. So we're going to look at, at the sensory systems with the most clinical relevance. And those are vision, of course. Somebody can't see. They are not going to be a happy person. Hearing, another big one. Somatic sensation. In somatic sensation, we will concentrate mostly on the uh, submodality of pain, or the submodalities of pain, as I would put it. And uh, finally, we will skip to the vestibular system. We'll, we'll bypass the ta taste and olfaction. It's not that they're not important, but they, they don't quite achieve the same uh, degree of relevance. Um, so in the vestibular system, you don't think about this all the time, but if the vestibular system goes on the fritz and you have a sense of vertigo or disequilibrium, it is very dominating. So the absence of it, the misbehavior of it is extremely clinically relevant. And this system also takes us right into uh, the motor systems. Okay, so now we're gonna start in on vision. <laughs>